What's up guys, it's I the Apple Buyer here today back with a brand new video for you all and today we are doing a video on my iBook G4 here. Today we will be doing a video over the iBook G4 here and whether or not you can edit videos on it with Final Cut Pro here. If you can't see right here, this or this isn't Final Cut Pro, this is Final Cut Express. I believe Final Cut Express 4.0 to be exact. And we're just going to be testing it out to see if we can actually edit any videos on this computer here. So if I'm correct, this is like a 12 or 13 year old computer, something like that. And I'll show you the specs here. They do show its age. So we'll go to about this Mac. And you can see right there, uh, Mac OS X 10.5.8. This is the latest version of uh, Mac OS this thing runs right now. And then a 1.33 gigahertz PowerPC G4 processor. Very old there. And then, of course, 512 megabytes of RAM, which is practically nothing. I'll also be showing you that Final Cut Express does work on here. Unfortunately, I don't meet the minimum spec requirements for this. Uh, Final Cut Express needs one gigabyte of RAM to properly run. And why? Why are you doing this? Okay, well, it looks like I gotta go talk to my friend about this. Um, I, I deleted the info for this, so I guess I gotta you know, get this back, I guess. Okay, perfect. So I did get a serial number and everything. It wasn't from Jamie. He's asleep right now. Unfortunately, he lives in Australia. But my friend George, he covered me with a different serial number. So thanks, George, for getting me hooked up with Final Cut Express again. Um, so I need to go outside. It's a beautiful day, if you can't tell. It's a very nice day outside. So I'm going to go outside, get some test footage. We're going to be recording at 1080p, 60 frames, and we're just going to be trying to edit some clips on here, see what happens. I've never even used this software before, so it'll be kind of interesting to just test out this software and uh, try to see if I can get through with the GUI of it. So um, yeah, I'm just going to be right back, guys, get some good footage and everything. So be right back. OK, so as you can see here, I do have all the test footage on the computer. I got it all recorded. Uh, again, it is 1080p 60 frame video. So I know that this computer really isn't meant to handle that. And this should be at least like 720p at the best like that could handle. But, you know, this is modern stuff, 1080p, 60 frames, or 1080p in general is just modern, uh, what YouTubers use and that kind of stuff. So that's what we're testing on this. If you're wondering, they're just four clips of me walking the dog around the pond. Nothing really special. So I guess let's get started with importing all this stuff. Um, time lapse now. I will say Final Cut is very different. I'm used to the new, easier version. This version of Final Cut I'm not used to at all. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm a baby a little bit. I had to close it, so now we're just going to relaunch this thing and hope for the best because I really need to learn how to use this thing. You guys really should see how pathetic this is. This computer just lags so bad. I mean, just look at how bad it's lagging here. I'm trying to just go all the way back to the beginning of the clip with the little um, thing here because I, I don't know if this thing's weird and you know it's just it's struggling here it is just struggling it's just beach balling we got that little beach ball there and we trying to move back but it's just not wanting to move back so um, this is really fun I guess okay let's, let's see at least see what it'll do when I try to play video so the volume is up but it looks like the HUD is lagging out on here so I'm just going to press the space bar and see what it'll play. Uh, it probably won't even be able to show any of the frames, especially since it'll be trying to play 60 frame videos. So uh, space bar now, I guess. And um, OK. We beach ball on it, boys. Oh, boy. That's pretty fun. Um, OK, then. Okay, at this point, I don't even care about the quality of the video. Um, I'm just going to start cutting up and deleting a bunch of random things. Obviously, from what I've seen, the keyboard shortcuts have stayed the same. So um, I just did B, which is for Blade. And I uh, split this little chunk right here, if you can see that little line there. Uh, it's beach balling right now, though, with uh, the cut, though. So I pressed A, and hopefully I can delete this stuff. So let's just see. 
Okay, good, good, good. And then can we move this back? Yep. Okay, so you can do that. It just looks like playback is absolute crap on here, so uh, that may be a little bit of a challenge for you since you're kind of blind editing right now. So we'll just kind of chop this off here too. This video is going to be absolute crap, and I am going to present this clip, by the way. So then let's see if we can at least get this clip on here. Will it load on? Oh, I, I shouldn't have pressed that button. I don't know what I was doing. Um, okay, did the clip go on here? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, you can see here just how bad this experience is so far. And um, come on. Come on. You want to work with me here? I don't think it wants to work with me. All it does, all it's been doing here is just kind of beach balling. So, um, yeah, rest in peace, computer, I guess. And uh, I guess I'll let you know when this video is done editing, because this is gonna be a while. So I got all my clips here. You can see right there. Um, one, two, three, four. I had four clips I recorded. So. I got all of them on here. I didn't really do much editing. Uh, we'll just do, well, no, we won't actually. I don't want to do that. I got all four clips on here. I did some very minimal editing. I just basically cut and dragged onto here since that was just about the only thing that this computer could handle doing. And again, uh, I don't know how to do the playback on here because it'll just do this the entire time. If it can load it at least. I don't know if it's going to load it. No, okay, well, this thing's being a little bit stubborn here. I don't even think I want to take the time to even try to do this. Okay, it'll do this when I try to... Yeah, it's not going to play. It's not going to play back the, the video, guys. I'm sorry. Or, no, okay. There we go. It does that. So, I'm assuming that this is uh, how you render a video. You do export and then QuickTime Movie. We'll do that. And then we'll do crap video and then um, include audio and video markers make self-contained I don't know what that means but I'll just leave that the way it is and we want to save this to our desktop here do we want yeah we want this in the desktop so desktop and then save although this might not be rendering this might actually be just saving the project to the desktop I don't know no okay good good, good. this is rendering it so um, I'll just set up a timer here I or wait, no, I do have a device here. We'll use my iPod Touch first generation here, and we'll time and see how long it takes to render. Oh, God, seven hours? Oh, boy. Okay, well, I think this might just, or no. I don't know what this thing is saying. Well, I don't, I don't think I'm going to take the time to render this video, though. That This is still going to be too long. I have to leave before then, so that's cute. I think I'm going to end the video right here where it's at because, really, I showed you guys um, that you can't really edit video, or at least not. I shouldn't say video. You can't edit 1080p video, specifically 1080p 60 frames video uh, from an iPhone. I mean, geez. You can't edit it on uh, an iBook G4. It is not meant for editing, or I guess it is, but not meant for editing 1080p video. That is, um, I can do a series like this and try doing um, lower quality video. Like I can try 1080p 30 frames, uh, 720p 60, and then 720p um, 30, and then 360, or no, 480, then 360, etc. Uh, I don't have any 4K cameras, unfortunately, and even if I did, uh, judging how 1080p 60 did on this computer, do you really think that 4K would fly by on this computer? So, <laughs> yeah. I'll throw in those clips that I recorded at the end of the video, just that way you can watch them. They, they'll be properly edited. They'll be, on, um, they'll be edited on the, the crack book over there, so they won't be cringy like how they probably are on here. So... Uh, I'll let you guys see them, so thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed, and go ahead and follow my Instagram and Twitter if you'd like, it is at the Apple Buyer, no spaces, it will be in the left corner of the video, again, thank you for watching, and peace. Alright, so we got some good test footage here, as you can see, it is a very wonderful day, walking the dog too, because, you know, why not, I mean, 
might as well do or kill two birds with one stone as they say so uh, yeah you can see the nice neighborhood around here and everything uh, it's pretty windy too I wonder how this sock is performing I hope there's no wind that you can hear because that would kind of suck but um yeah this doggo really wants to to do a bunch of stuff here I will say it's so pretty out here though I'm so glad oh look all the birds are flying it's so pretty around here I swear I'm so glad that spring has sprung it's so nice and everything and again doggo now here's something that's always fun to look at down here so you can see this pond here it's a very interesting pond uh, looks like all the rocks kind of went away but if you can't tell there used to be rocks all around here but people kind of threw them off and stuff and I hope this dog doesn't want to take a dump but if you can't see there used to be a bunch of rocks around here but you know kids threw them in the pond and everything and uh, if you can see here this pond tends to flood a lot and like literally this whole area right here will literally be like drenched in water like here's perfect proof right here since like this is kind of like a hill the sidewalk and you can just tell by looking at the sidewalk that um, it gets a little bit flooded it's not really that flooded that bad right now but it has gotten pretty bad too and I'll I'll post a picture of that if that ever does happen on some rainy day and he's all muddy now that's disgusting well I guess I just dropped my phone so that was pretty fun I mean uh, I scratched up the, the I don't know I just dropped my phone that that was a bit scary it like landed perfectly on the lens so hope my camera isn't destroyed now the fuck is this try editing videos what the actual fuck all i hear is nothing but that someone getting married someone die listen to that What is this? Are you kidding me? What? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying, I'm watching YouTube and rendering a video and that happens, excuse me?